Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell, we're in a little bit of a different location than usual. We're actually in my kitchen because I'm going to be doing a fall bake with me. I'm going to be like answering some questions and bringing you guys along on my baking journey because I'm actually going to be baking cupcakes. I probably should have set these up to look nice, but who cares? It's fine. <laughs> and um, I also, before we... In a little bit, I will show you guys a little bit more of what we have. But I just want to quickly make this little announcement. So if you saw my last video and read the description, you would know that in my intros, usually I say smash the subscribe button to join the subscriber fam. And I'm getting tired of subscriber fam, so I'm actually going to be changing it. So I'm going to quickly announce what I'm changing it to. So I was stuck between DLG fam for Dilated Lego Girl fam or Kate's Cookies. So I decided to combine them and we're going to call it the DLG fam. But once you join, you subscribe to join the DLG fam and become one of Kate's Cookies. So yeah, now that that's out of the way, make sure that you smash that subscribe button to join the DLG fam and become one of my cookies. Click the like button if you like it, leave a comment below and follow all my social medias, both on the screen and link down below. Let's get started. So the things we have are this white cake mix. Oh, I forgot to say what I'm even making. I'm going to be making Halloween cupcakes. So back to what we have. We have the white cake mix. We have some candy corn. Some of these like little like pumpkin candies. I forgot what they're called. Um, we have some white frosting as well as some food coloring to make it orange. Um, we have eggs, all the basic ingredients and stuff. And then the cupcake pans. So... Let's get to baking. We're gonna answer the first question I have. So, I'll pop it up on the screen somewhere. Do I prefer Starbucks or Dunkin'? So that's a good question. I probably prefer Dunkin' better food and stuff, but Starbucks has really good drinks. I'm not much of a coffee person, so I don't really get coffee from either, but I do love the pink drink from Starbucks and culottas from Dunkin'. So they're both like equal, but donuts are like my favorite dessert. So we're gonna go with Dunkin'. But, Anyways, next we need half a cup of oil, vegetable oil. It says oil. Olive oil? I don't know. Um, for oil, does it mean canola oil? Yeah. Okay. We got it. Okay. Oh, gosh, this is heavy. And I'm really scared. You can't really tell, but there's a, there's a cup on the other side. That should do it. Alright, there we go. By the way, guys, the more like fallish Halloween, I can't, the camera is like spinning around. The more like fallish part will be actually like the decorating, so that's gonna be when we're more like the more interesting part, so stay tuned. We also have one cup of water, so add that in. Okay. And three eggs, let's do that. We're gonna talk about a very interesting topic, seasons. So I've been struggling to figure out which season is my favorite, but basically I was like trying to figure out which season is my favorite because I've always said it was summer because you know, like my birthday and nice weather and you can go on vacation and obviously there's no school. But I'm starting to think I really like fall and winter better because fall, like it's just such a pretty aesthetic and like there's Halloween, Thanksgiving, good food all of that sort of stuff. It's just like a really pretty season, kind of. But then you have to consider winter because, you know, there's Christmas, New Year's. Christmas is just like December. That month is just like such a happy time because Christmas and everything coming up. So I'm starting to think it might be one of those because, like, I just love Christmas and winter and everything about it. Like, it's so pretty, but it is cold and stuff. But, like, you get a whole winter break and and that type of stuff but then again you have to think like summer is it better than summer because like it is but like it isn't and then also obviously there's spring but spring's honestly really boring to me because like just nothing really happens in spring i mean there's easter which is another one of my favorite holidays but it's just not the same vibe as like christmas and thanksgiving and stuff so yeah comment below if the comments are allowed on this video Comment below your favorite season because I'm really trying to figure out which one is mine. Sorry about the lighting for a second. It's going to be bad. But we actually have all the ingredients um, in here. So I think we're going to begin 
to mix and can I have oh, do I have to use a mixer I really don't feel like setting that up you know what we're just gonna do it because we don't want these to turn out really bad hey guys so we have the cake mix ready now we just gotta transfer it into this do this we're gonna answer a couple more questions the light looks really bad I'm sorry the lighting in my kitchen is just not good so we're just gonna try to ignore that so this next question is what's your favorite thing about fall i just i kind of already answered this a little bit but it's like the whole fall aesthetic it's just like such pretty outside uh actually let me show you guys that in a second i just love how fall nature looks and there's also a lot of fun activities you know like halloween things like pumpkin carving and apple orchards and stuff like that let me show you there's like a really pretty tree in my backyard it's just like so pretty i just love fall i love seeing the leaves change color it's pretty so yeah okay so i'm literally putting you guys on like this grill thing sorry about that i like cannot find good camera angles so we're going to pour this in also answer a few more questions Next question is what was it again <laughs> go check apple cider or hot cocoa so i'm gonna have to go with a hot cocoa just because like it's it's really good and even though i do prefer like cold drinks and stuff over hot ones but i just think hot cocoa is like really really good and stuff and it's hot cocoa so you can never go wrong oh my gosh i did such a bad job pouring this oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so bad at this i already poured three and then i realized that i have not sprayed them yet so that might be a good idea also i literally like overflowed this one we're just gonna start from scratch and just put this back oh my gosh what did i do just it in the trash oh my god oh wow all right let's just i know i know i'm wasting like a lot of it but we're just gonna wipe this off please don't get mad at me in the comments oh my gosh this is so bad i think these two are fine they might just they're just gonna be harder to take out but let's get another cupcake liner to replace it So the other tray was getting full so i had to move on to a different tray and of course i forgot to spray those two but we're just gonna leave it and hope for the best i'm really scared this may not go well but who cares we're gonna pop these in the oven and then start preparing the decoration oh i forgot i forgot to show you guys this in the beginning that's better the decoration oh so the cupcakes are in the oven i put them in for about like 20 minutes we're gonna check on them and see if they need longer the next thing we're gonna do is dye the frosting because i got white because they didn't have orange so we're gonna mix red and yellow together and hopefully we can get some of the good orange color and of course we have an orange bowl so festive i'm gonna pour all of this in here and while we do this let me just hmm, what should we talk about now someone asked what we're doing oh just what my plans are for halloween so let's talk about halloween now so for halloween probably not doing much because obviously you can't go trick-or-treating at least where i live i don't think it's really safe to but i'm probably gonna have like a family thing like at our house family halloween party eat halloween stuff maybe these cupcakes except i'm making this like a week before halloween oh my gosh as of the time you guys are seeing this it's actually exactly a week from halloween so that's pretty cool there's like quite a lot of frosting in here i've always thought these little things have like no frosting but clearly i was wrong I'm trying to get like every last bit of frosting out of here i love how i'm using like the end of the frosting thing to get it off the spoon you know we're just gonna get a new spoon and lick this one Vanilla frosting right from the can always hits different. I'm really scared I'm gonna like dye this too dark of a red or too much yellow. So we're gonna put like two drops of red. This is scary. Um, I'm just gonna do two. Oh my gosh, I probably did that all wrong, but I'm gonna mix it. I feel like this bowl isn't big enough to mix it in, but I wanted to get an orange one. Oh, yep, it's too much red. We're gonna need a lot more yellow. Hi, Lauren. I'm filming a video. Say hi. That was yellow, right? Yeah. Where are you? Where's the there. camera? Lean down. Where? Oh. Right there. Hi. It's my sister. I definitely need to do this in a bigger bowl, so we're going to get that. Putting this into a new one. Doing this whole process all over again, except it's a lot easier this time. She's going to get pizza, so 
Yeah, we have pizza and cupcakes tonight. Such a healthy family. Finally, we have all, or at least all the frosting I could get out transferred into the new bowl. Now we need to make it more of an orange color. I'm gonna quickly wash my hands. To try to dye this, I'm really scared that we're gonna fail miserably. That's a lot of yellow, but I think it's gonna be overpowered by the red. I'm so excited to decorate these. I love decorating cupcakes. By the way, you guys should go check out the rest of my baking videos. I've actually done quite a good amount and they're always really fun and I don't really remember how many I have, but I should probably make a playlist. I'll definitely do that after finishing this. After this video is posted, there should hopefully be a baking playlist on my channel. I like this is getting somewhere, but it's still too much of a pink for my liking, so. I don't know whether to add more yellow or more red. Probably more yellow, but. And then I did like a ton of yellow and then maybe like a tiny drop of red because the red is very strong, if you cannot already tell. Here it is. It's like, it's an orange, but it's not quite the orange I was going for. So let's try one more swab of color. I think I'm gonna stop there before I take it too far. We're gonna wait a little bit longer for the cake to bake because I don't really need to do anything else to prepare besides dye the frosting, which as you saw, we just did. Okay guys, so the timer just went off. Hold on, I'm gonna put the camera down so I don't like burn myself. Oh, these look actually, oh my God. I just like got smoke in my face or something. I do not know, I'm scared. I always get so nervous taking things out of the oven. One of my biggest fears is like getting burned because it's not a funny feeling. Oh my gosh. Ah! Alright. I'm scared. I just don't like ovens. They freak me out so much. Probably just me, but comment below if you have the same struggle. Alright, there we go. Now we're just gonna wait like 10 more minutes to let them cool off. And then we can start the fun part and go decorate. Okay, so it definitely hasn't been long enough, but I'm just going to do it because I'm getting bored and impatient. But while we were waiting for them to cool and cook and stuff, I actually got a few more questions from you guys. So we're going to try to get through all of those while we decorate them, which is going to be probably like the most fun part of this video, the most fall Halloween part, the part you've all been waiting for, or maybe that's just me, but. Okay, let me give you guys a little tour. So here is the starting station. Then you come over to the frosting station. I need to get a knife too. Then the decorating station, and then the finish station. Yep, perfect. So hopefully this angle is at least decent. So we're gonna start, and I also wrote down a list of questions that you guys sent me on Instagram. So let's begin. We're just gonna, basically my plan for this is just add orange frosting and some candy corn and pumpkins and sprinkles. It's very self-explanatory. I really did not need to explain that. I think you would probably figure it out based on the decorations we chose, but I decided to tell you anyway. So, yeah, the first question I wrote down is, what am I like off camera? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I think I'm pretty much the same as I am on camera, honestly. Yeah, I really don't think I'm very different on and off camera. But I guess I'm a little bit more, I was about to say more crazy, but I'm crazy in my videos. Like, have you seen this one? Obviously you have, because you're watching it. So we have that. This is kind of just like a practice one. Not a practice one, but like a, not a test one. Just, this is the first one. It's probably going to be bad. Oh, that was a fail. So we're going to sprinkle those on. Let's do, can I just like, one pumpkin in the middle maybe? I don't really know. If, we don't really need the candy corn. It, I kind of just asked for candy corn because I wanted candy corn. So I think it would be good if we just do that. That's actually super cute. I like it. Next question is favorite fall activity. I love all these festive fall questions. Um, I think my favorite fall activity is probably fall baking. Um, even though I'm not too good at it. We'll see. We'll figure that out after this video. Um, Apple picking is really fun, maybe, or like just going to like something like that. Um, a favorite fall flavor. It's not really like a fall flavor necessarily, but like cinnamon. Actually, that is kind of a fall flavor, I guess. Yeah, I really like cinnamon. I'm not a huge pumpkin person, like pumpkin flavor. Oh, these are looking super cool. Let me show you guys. They're actually turning out better than I thought they would. So. Kids at school know about my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, they do. Um, 
people have watched my videos in home room, more so last year because this year you can't really like do anything at school because half of the time you're online and the other half you are six feet apart with masks on but yes unfortunately they do know about it and some of them may be watching this right now so hi if you go to my school next question is who inspired me to start doing youtube um i'm not really sure if there's a certain person but i think just seeing other youtubers like in general honestly maybe like seven super girls uh and like all those channels that's about it i guess and just all those big youtubers at the time bethany moda alicia marie all of those 2014 2015 big youtubers those are all the questions that i wrote down there were a few more but i was kind of rushed because i really wanted to start frosting these cupcakes sorry i'm doing it really messily but that's okay and i think we're going to switch over to time lapse mode just because i'm getting tired of talking actually i'm not getting tired of talking i just don't know what else to say because i don't have any more questions written down but <laughs> finished the cupcakes i had to fit it in two different containers but that's okay so i actually really liked how they turned out i hope you guys enjoyed today's video yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye have a loosey goosey day